Hello fellow readers, welcome to The Star is the Book, the channel which celebrates the triumph of content over form. Today on the menu, it's pedantic babble time. You know pedantic babble? That sort of literature that hides a very tiny grain of truth under a very thick fog. Yep, even though it is pedantic, today's suspect, I would dare say it isn't bad. It's kind of good, maybe because it's a very thin book, 100 pages more, and I would have surely dropped the whole thing right around the middle. So, ladies and gentlemen, Agape, Agape, by the American postmodernist author William Gaddis. What is the main premise of Agape, Agape? The idea that technology cheapens art and it does that in two separate ways first off reproduction through technology lessens the impactful mystery of the artwork and then the artist is also easily matched and even lessened by the performer slash entertainer and to believe it or not according to the book the road to degenerations starts with the player piano yep that mechanical piano that was developed in the late 19th century. According to the narrator, one college professor, of course, what else could he be debating such academic issues, named Jack Gibbs, and Jack Gibbs is trying to write his final definitive work on the entropy of the whole thing. The form chosen for this is Stream of Consciousness, a la Thomas Bernard, with constant reflections on art, psychology, philosophy, Freud, Tolstoy, Michelangelo, Glenn Gould, Plato, and even John Kennedy too. Art certainly imitates life for this one, because Gaddis, like Bernard, took prednisone to deal, to cope with the effects of pulmonary emphysema. And uh, apparently, uh, prednisone is a sort of medicine that can make you extremely rambling and loquacious. And rambling and loquacious is indeed the way of agape, agape. Interesting talking points here to be found. First off, humanity is all about pain. Show me a human being who has been dealt immense pain and lived through it. And I will show you an accomplished human being. But the thing with technology is that it only maximizes our pleasure. And hence, we unlearn something valuable about the human experience. Another talking point is that art for the masses is bound to be crap. There's that common denominator factor. And submission to the common, to the average, miseducates everyone. And even forces the artist to self censor himself. There's nothing we can do about it. It's just one of the features of our blessed democracies. Democracies is the regime that indeed accepts and even in some way promotes average. So good taste has to be self-taught. And self-taught and highly disciplined you will have to be to reach the end of this book. That's a wrap. Hope you can folks enjoy. Hope to see you again for a next review. Ta-da!